Earlier today, Gentilly was another neighborhood that saw some high water. District D Council Member Eugene Green says he was alarmed by the extent of flooding, and he's calling for the Sewerage and Water Board to make a special report to the City Council about it. Devin Bartolotta has also checked out the impact of all that flooding in Gentilly, and she's joining us live with a closer look. Devin, what'd you find? Yeah, well, Katie, Councilman Green is concerned that areas that don't normally flood are now flooding, and that is the case here on Mandeville Street. This road does not normally flood, according to neighbors who we spoke with here. It was recently dug up for construction, and that's why so much water is still sitting here. As you can see, though, a car on this road is up to its wheel wells in water. And we saw a lot of ruined cars today. Flooding was knee deep along Tucson, close to Franklin Avenue. We even saw an RV and some other taller vehicles that had taken on water. The Sewerage and Water Board says rain was falling right around four inches an hour here in Gentilly, and it simply overwhelmed the pumps. Now, we've not heard any reports of water getting into homes here, but there was water lapping up against front stoops in several areas. We spoke with David Furr. He was working in Metairie when things started to flood there and at his house, so he parked a few blocks away and he walked home. This side of the street tends to get pretty bad. Um, not this bad, but it's, it tends to get pretty bad. Our side over here, uh, I've never seen it this bad in 14 years. So uh, thankful and grateful it stayed out the house, but it's, it looks pretty rough. Now, again, along some of the main drags here, like Toussaint, the water has definitely receded because the pumps have done their job. But in some lower lying streets like this one, again, that had been dug up for construction, the water is still sitting here. You've got a lot of people who can't leave their homes or drive on this street at this time. For now, reporting live in Gentilly, Devin Bartolotta, Eyewitness News.